All right, welcome back to another study tips video. Today, we're gonna to go through five ways to actually understand what you're learning. Because I'm sure most of us have heard of the saying that understanding is better than memorizing. And I've always thought that this was easier said than done because understanding is quite an abstract word. And I definitely remember a time where I thought I understood a topic quite well, but when it came to an exam or a test, they seemed to always ask something that was in my blind spot. So that's when I decided to mix up the ways I studied, which ended up helping tremendously. So that's why I wanted to share five ways that I've learned to help you understand rather than just memorize. Because at the end of the day, exams mainly test for understanding. Now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't memorize at all. It's just that the majority of questions are based on application. All right, let's get started with the first way. Dumb down and break down the definition. When you're taking down the definition of a concept, remember that you don't need to be a publisher for Oxford Dictionary. So keep it simple in your own words, and if you're able to, break it down as well. Here's what I mean. This is a complicated definition for the chemistry term mole. If you're learning this for the first time or you don't do chemistry, then this might be a bit hard to understand what a mole actually is. But after I simplify it like so, this should hopefully be much easier to understand. And another reason I began with this general description, so just a number, is because it makes it much easier to remember what this term means because it's only a short phrase. And if you're able to recall this broad concept, then it's much easier for your brain to fill in the blanks with the details because you already have a solid understanding. So when writing down definitions, you might like to use a funnel structure like so. Next are analogies. And you could also say figurative language or stories. But basically you want to associate one thing that you know very well with something that you don't. For example, a concept that we learn in biology is isotonic solutions. And this just means that the concentration of a particular thing is the same on both sides. And this results in there being no electrical potential on either side. So to remember or understand this, I just thought of my friend's Tinder profile because that too has no potential. All right, next up is draw. If you're given a complicated concept, you might find it helpful to draw either an annotated picture, a tree diagram if you're dealing with a concept with a lot of sub elements, or drawing a table if you want to compare two or more ideas. The basic idea here is that you don't want to just summarize your notes, but rather make your notes into something more visually appealing. So it makes it more likely that you're going to review this, but it also helps establish connections between multiple concepts. Next, doing questions versus taking notes. So some people view these as two distinct steps, but for me, questions were my notes. So embedded in my notes were questions that I came across that I felt were challenging and could come up again. So that's why I would annotate them with the necessary steps. So I understood the thought process for approaching similar questions. And finally, we have the Feynman technique, which basically means that you should try and teach what you've learned. So for the above steps, try teaching them using your own definitions and diagrams, because this will help you identify any knowledge gaps you might have. And it will also help out your classmates as well. And if you're interested in learning more about this technique, then I have a separate video that goes into more detail up here. But that is it for this tips video. Hope that was helpful.